Hi guys, welcome to Prague ICU. My name is Teresa and today we are going to show you how to set up a central venous transducer. For invasive blood pressure monitoring, either venous or arterial, you need to prepare following equipment. Normaceline 500 cc, transducer kit which comes along with flush tubing and pressure tubing as you can see on the video. You can also see a transducer cable, pressure bag and transducer holder and an IV pole which is already prepared at the bedside. First, you set up all your tubing which you will need for the IV line. Then you put 5,000 units of heparin into the saline bag. In the video you see it's a one milliliter. You then label the bag with the name of the medication, date and time. Then you spike the bag with tubing. And put it into the pressure bag and inflate it to 300 millimeters of AG to sufficiently contract the systematic pressure. You turn the bag upside down for priming the tubing system. You need to make sure there are no air bubble left before connecting the line to the patient. And now you can see I'm taking everything to the bedside. At the bedside, you set the transducer into its holder fixed on the IV pole. You need to make sure that the tubing that is going to the patient is facing upwards. The cable for the transducer is facing downwards. Again, you can flush the catheter to allow the air come out of the system. Then you connect the pressure tubing tip to the distal lumen of the central venous catheter. Most of the time the distal tip has a brown color. Then connect the transducer cable to the transducer and the monitoring device. For accurate pressure detection, patients should be placed in supine position and the transducer needs to be leveled at the patient's phlebostatic axis. It is located by drawing an imaginary line from the fourth intercostal space and the sternum and finding its intersection with an imaginary line drawn down the center of the chest below the axilla. Close the stopcock towards the patient and open it to the atmospheric pressure as seen on the video. Press zero on the monitor and wait until the actual zero appears on the screen. Turn the three-way stopcock back to its starting position with closed cap 
and you can begin your pressure reading. You can also optimize the wave for accurate reading as well. And now, as you can see, we have very nice CVP line on the monitor. Thank you for watching Prague ICU and stay tuned for more educational videos.